Who knew that we could combine pumpkin and truffles with chocolate and make a delicious snack or dessert? Well, today I am going to make pumpkin truffles and you are in for a treat. They have real whole ingredients, no junk, no gluten, no dairy, but perfect for fall and winter. You can stick them in the freezer, pop them out, have one as a snack. You're, they're safe to feed your children because we are using good, great ingredients. So let's get started. I'm gonna talk about the ingredients as we make the recipe. So we are going to start out with some pumpkin puree. Make sure you get pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling. Pumpkin pie filling has a lot of junk in it. Now we're gonna use maple syrup, my favorite sweetener. You can get all the details of this recipe in the link below. Next up, we're gonna use almond butter. When you buy your nut butters, make sure it just says the nut in the ingredient list. There should be no added oils. There should be no added sugar or no added salt. Oils, are, sorry, nuts are oily. They don't need added oils in them. So make sure you read that ingredient list on your nut butters. Now we're going to add coconut butter. Coconut butter is very different than coconut oil. What coconut butter is, is they take the meat of the coconut and they press it and it forms like a butter paste. So this is where we're gonna get our good healthy fats, but you do wanna get coconut butter. You can find it at stores like Whole Foods or you can probably get it on Amazon. Now we're gonna add in our spices. We are going to do ground cinnamon. Cinnamon is anti-inflammatory. I put it in a lot of my recipes because it just really has a good pack of nutrients. Now we're gonna do pumpkin pie spice to add to that pumpkin flavor. And then the last thing we're gonna do is uh, nutmeg. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a stir. I like to do my truffles pretty small, so you can just pop them in your mouth. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot um, two key ingredients. We need to add dates. What I did was I took five module dates, I put them in a mini food chopper, and I just added about a tablespoon of water and I blended it to make like a date paste. You can also use date paste if you want. Uh, dates are a really good sweetener, really good for us. And then now I'm gonna add, up, add some ground almonds. We're gonna give it a mix. Sometimes I have to add more almonds to make it um, a little, to make it stick together and sometimes it's good. So just kind of eye it. I'll get the recipes in the notes and then you'll just kind of have to play with it um, to your consistency. I am gonna add a little bit more almonds. I keep a jar of ground up almonds in my pantry at all times. I use that as a bread crumb. And you know, like if I'm making a turkey burger or turkey meatballs, I use that ground almonds instead of bread crumbs. So I always keep them in my pantry. Okay, I'm gonna put my gloves on now and we're gonna roll up some uh, beautiful pumpkin truffles. Okay, something that I forgot to mention to you was if your almond butter does, not, you like my gloves? If your almond butter does not have salt in it, do a pinch of salt in these. You need the contrast, the sweet and the salty. So that will kind of help bring out the flavor of the dates as well. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to Take these and put them in little balls. Alrighty, I have them all rolled out. We're just gonna place them in the freezer now for about 30 minutes, and then we're gonna take them out and we're gonna finish them off with awesome different flavors, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, they are out of the freezer, and now we're just gonna kind of reshape them into really pretty balls and dip them in some dark chocolate, and then we're gonna 
actually what we're going to do after we do the chocolate i've got these different toppings that we're going to roll them in or sprinkle on them and i'll kind of as i'm doing the video i'll show you which ones they are Now what you saw me dipping the balls into was dark chocolate mixed with a little bit of coconut oil. And you just put them, you can either do like a double broiler over the stove, or you can heat it in the microwave at 50% heat. I did about a cup of dark chocolate chips with about a tablespoon of coconut oil and just blended it and melted it or heated it until it was melted. Uh, you don't want to cook it, so make sure you do the low heat. Uh, slow and steady is, is what's going to get you a good consistency with that dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is loaded with antioxidants. So anything over 65% cacao on the package means it is loaded with antioxidants. If it just says dark chocolate, you may want to read the label and find out how much cacao is in it because marketing is really good at confusing you. Not all dark chocolate is created equal, but it is very, very good for us. So I say eat all the dark chocolate you want. Now for the fun part. We can get really creative with this. I just let them sit for just a minute or two. They are definitely not um, solid, like the chocolate isn't. You need to put them back in the freezer. But what I wanted to do was I just wanted to take some um, little accessories. And so here I have some coconut sugar and cinnamon. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to sprinkle a couple of them with it. So pretty. And we can kind of move it around so it's beautifully dusted. And next up, I have some, just some good old cacao powder. It's like chocolate on chocolate. And I have just good old coarse salt. You know, chocolate and salt go so well together. Who doesn't love salty chocolate? And the last thing I have, which I actually just had in my pantry, is some... Um, I toasted some crushed up almonds with maple syrup and salt and vanilla. And so that might be a little, I'm going to try. It's like the kind of like the consistency of granola. So I'm not quite sure it'll work out, but I thought I would try. I could probably roll it around in it and it would do fine. Let's see if I can do this. Let's, let's give it a try. What do we have to lose? They're not, the chocolate's not super um, hard yet. So yeah, it worked a little bit. That's fun. I think for this last one, I'm gonna do some more sea salt. Okay, now I am just gonna put these back in the freezer and they are done. Let me give you a beautiful shot of them. As you can see, just total limitless on ways and varieties that you can um, make them. And I just love it. I love how creative you can get with them. You can actually not do any toppings at all if you want. Antioxidants, lower glycemic, pumpkin for the holidays. It's just a win-win for everybody. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. You can learn more about me and my services at ShellyCanHelp.com. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment below, and um, the link for the recipe is below as well. And thanks for watching. I have one question before I go. What? is on your fork. Bye for now.